Good morning my lovelies, hello and welcome to another vlog. First off I have to say my camera died, so my vlogging camera which I use. First of all for a while the lens cover hasn't been working but I've been working with it because I don't want to spend any money at the moment on a new camera. And uh, as of yesterday I can't actually put a memory card in there so I am filming on a different camera. So please bear with me, but also do let me know what you think of today's vlog because it will all have been filmed on a different camera and I'd really like to know whether I should just stick with this and save my pennies and not buy a new camera. Right, all of that done. <laughs> Welcome to this vlog. I am hosting another dinner party tonight and last time I told you guys about it afterwards but didn't actually show you much of it so I had quite a few messages from you guys saying you want to see more of it so hopefully I'll try and vlog some of it today. We did get most of the cooking done yesterday I'm just going to go and get the ingredients now to make dessert so I will try and vlog a little bit of that it's really simple but it is my favorite dessert to make when I've made Indian food for dinner so we're going to go shopping and yeah it's been a good start to the morning I have just taken my daughter to pre-season hockey training she's just started senior school which you may already know because um, if you follow me on Instagram I've been talking about the fact that my youngest one is now at senior school uh, <clears throat> sorry my voice is going so she just started on Thursday but they do do some pre-season hockey and netball training just so that they can get them going and work out who they want in their teams and who's in the A team B team and all that kind of thing Oh my god, this new camera is actually really heavy though. My arm's hurting. So I think that's you caught up. I do have to do a live, which I thought I would get done this morning, and I didn't. So I've got to go back really quickly, do the shopping really quickly, and then get back and do this live. It's a skincare one, so hopefully you'll have caught that on my Instagram. I keep talking about Instagram only because I am on there a lot, so please do follow me if you're not already following me on Instagram. It's just at Beauty Passionista, and I will have linked it for you down below. I'm talking really fast because my arm <laughs> is getting really tired. I don't think this camera is going to work for vlogging because my hand is actually shaking. Either that or I need to strengthen up my arms. I thought I had strong arms. But uh, hey, anyway, let's get into Waitrose. We'll go and get the ingredients and then we'll go home, do a live and start making dessert. Just get my reusable bags because we don't do plastic bags anymore. Can't imagine anyone does plastic bags anymore. I got these really gorgeous Emma Bridgewater ones from Waitrose. I'm not sure if they were a limited edition but I've literally stocked up on them. I have so many of them. I could not even carry this camera around while I was shopping but I am cheating big time when I'm making dessert today. As you can see there's lots of ready-made things that I'm going to use in my dessert because when you see how much we've done in terms of the main course and the dinner and everything, you realize that I just don't have the time or the energy now to make a dessert from scratch. Like normally, I would bake the cake rather than buy the cake that's going at the base. I would make the dessert. I wouldn't buy ready-made dessert, but today, oh, I'd even make the fruit compote I'm gonna put in, but I just don't have the time or the energy today. So let's go. I've just finished my live and I have decided that so far I hate, I don't like the colours on the other camera that I'm using to vlog. So right now I am holding my phone in my hand and I'm going to vlog the rest of this vlog on my phone until I sort out my existing old camera. Anyway, so let's start. This is my trifle dish. I'm making trifle for dessert only because my husband requested it, the kids love it. It's not a particularly fancy dessert, but Everyone loves it and it always gets finished. So anyway, this is my trifle dish, which I think is absolutely incredible. I bought this many, many years ago, probably, how old is my daughter now? She's 13, so nine years ago I got this and it's from Pampered Chef. It's one of those American companies that do that kind of pyramid thing or, you know, you go to someone's house for a, for a Pampered Chef party and then you buy stuff. Anyway, look, how clever is that? So you can put it away really easily. It separates like that, even has a lid. 
and it is just the best trifle dish because it's so broad around here. I have another one that I use, but it kind of comes into a little kind of more of a point at the bottom, more of a curve. And this way you can just get a lot of the cake at the bottom, which is what everyone loves when it's covered in jelly. So I'm going to unpack the rest of what I have in here. My daughter very kindly unpacked most of it for me while I went and did the live just now. But like I said, I am taking shortcuts today, big time, some strawberries. I bought ready-made custard. We always get gelatine-free jelly, if you see what I mean. So um, basically no pork gelatine, because obviously I don't eat pork. So this one is halal. And I also thought I would try this one, which is a kosher jelly. So I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use. I've used this one many times and it is really good because it sets super quickly, which is great for trifle, because you know, there's a lot of waiting around in between. I also did pick up this, which I'm not sure has any flavor in it at all. It doesn't say that it's got any flavor. It's just a red jelly. So I think maybe we'll give this one a miss. This is just basically for flans and things like that. So one of these two, maybe I'll mix them up. I'm not quite sure. Definitely love this one, use this one quite a bit. What else do we have in here? Oh, loads of jellies. I bought lots and lots of options. Oh, and uh, plasters, which we are not going to need for this trifle. What else is in there? That's it. Where's the rest of the stuff? Oh, cream is... I'm just gonna show you how full my fridge is now. It's a mess <laughs> from all the cooking and putting it in boxes and stuff like that because we cooked everything yesterday apart from the raita, which I'll make tonight. It's a yogurt dish, but everything else has been cooked. So I just have to heat everything up today. And actually Indian food always tastes better the second day. So I'm really glad that I've done that. And right now I need to show you what is going on in here. What are you doing? What are you doing in my shopping bag? I don't remember buying you today. Hello. <laughs> He's gonna try and beat me up now. I love him so much. He's such a cutie. Do you want to come out and say hello to the vlog? Oh, you're such a cutie. Come on. If I put my hand there, he'll scratch me. Oh, maybe not. You're going to go to sleep. And then, and then he loves this. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna get someone saying to me it's cruel, but he loves it, he absolutely loves this, watch this. No, no, don't scratch me. Look at that, cat in a bag. Hello, gorgeous. Hiya. We love you too. Hercules, where's your baby brother? Where is he? Where is he? do this all day but I have so much to do. Go on, you go and find Hercules in there. You guys play, okay? There. Bash! That's what he does. He just wants someone to play with him all day. But we have trifle to make. We're still hanging out in the bag. Or we're back into the bag, I should say. Hey, little cute stir. Someone is stuck. Oh, you are clever. So we are still filming on the phone. I don't like the other camera, oh, but it's a bit shaky. It's not good, is it? Okay, let's try that again. Is that better? 
you know i'm not sure i really like the other camera so i'm either going to have to get my canon mended or just get a new one i am absolutely exhausted and i still have to do so much for the party tonight not party dinner party for the dinner tonight a third of the way through making the trifle i have to lay the table i mean i know it sounds like the most ridiculous non-list of things to do but they're all little things but they all have to be done and i look like i am absolutely exhausted and i think i'm going to have to wash my hair before they come so it's going to be a busy 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 afternoon but i now need to go and pick up my daughter from her pre-season training and then it's going to be all systems go still desperately filming on my phone but anyway everything is ready for dinner i'm absolutely exhausted and i'm not even sure how i'm gonna enjoy the evening now but it is what it is <laughs> i think i have just not drunk enough water the last two days and i think that that is what it, you know basically without the water we don't have the energy but i'm gonna do my makeup really quickly and um pick out something to wear i'm gonna wear black because I tend to always wear black when I'm hosting, but I think I'm going to try out this new foundation that I got at the launch at Zoeva. It's their new authentic skin foundation and I got colour matched there by Lisa and I'm in the shade, I think, Intuitive. There we go. That is my colour match, Intuitive, in the Zoeva authentic skin foundation. So let's try this out. It's a lovely consistency. So there it is, and let's just see how it's gonna look. I think I've taken too much onto the back of my hand because actually you don't need a lot at all. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely finish. You can still see the skin. That is a perfect skin color match. I love that. It's gorgeous. Please excuse the hair, guys. I did not have time to wash the hair. I actually didn't have the energy to wash my hair today either. So it's just gonna have to be a quick shower, which I'll do after I've done my makeup because I like the way it kind of sets your makeup as well if you have a shower after your makeup. So what do we think? I really like the look of this. It looks so natural. They gave us a couple of palettes as well, which is really sweet of them. This is the new one that is just coming out. And I did swatch this there. So I'm very excited that that's in there. Such pretty colours. There's mattes and shimmers and glitters. I'm just going to have a play. Oh, the light, sorry. Golden hour here, look at that. Look at that beautiful light, we should take a picture now. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup really quickly because the light is so in and out now, it's kind of coming through the trees and it's making it really difficult to film. But I will show you what I am wearing when I'm done. I am ready and the room is ready. And I just realized I haven't really shown you what I've made, like food wise and stuff like that. But I thought I would quickly show you the room because I haven't shown you the food yet. I will show you the food, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that because until it's all kind of laid out and stuff, it's all in the bowls and things like that that I put it in after it was cooked. So yeah, um, anyway, let's have a look at the room. There is the dining table. <laughs> I've laid it for six, although I think we're only going to be five people sitting at the table and then all the kids are going to be here as well. So I think they're going to sit in the other dining room. We have another dining room over there. So that is the dining room area. And then there is the living room. I know that I've never, ever done a house tour or even a room tour. I should do a room tour of this room, actually, because this is probably the most fun room to tell you about. So there is the living room and waiting for his guests is Hercules. Yeah, thank you.
thank you for saying hello to the vlog. And somewhere here is Hermes. Are you waiting for our guests? They are the cutest thing. They are just the cutest thing. So that is it. There's the mirror where I normally do my outfit of the day. In fact, I should probably tell you what I'm wearing. Let me see if I can turn this around. So you can see I'm still filming on the phone, which is really annoying. I am not dressing up because it's a very casual dinner. And also, you know, I said, well, like when I'm, oh, really bad. Hold on, let me see if I can clean the screen. That's how dirty my lens was, not screen, lens, I should have said. So yeah, I'm just wearing a pair of like waxed jean type things. This really old jumper from a brand that I don't know if you can still get anymore called Suli. It's a little, I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese or Korean designer. Anyway, makes really lovely clothes for little people like me. I'm only five foot two, so. And then shoes wise, I'm wearing my little Prada studded shoes, which are actually such favorites, long time favorites and the most comfortable things. You wouldn't think that they are so comfortable, but they really, really are. And I wear them without socks and that's how comfortable they are. Oh, and now we've been joined by Hermes. Hold on, I'll take you around there. What are you doing? Come and say hi to your fans. Hello, gorgeous. The cats aren't normally allowed in this room, so this is super exciting for him because I think this is probably only the third or fourth time that he's been in here. <laughs> and he's exploring like there's no tomorrow, basically as if he's never going to be allowed in again. Which, Mama? Yeah. Are you filming? I'm filming a vlog for today, yeah. Okay, uh... Come and sit down. I don't want to be in there. Yes, you do. I want to go to bed. <laughs> this monkey has not done her homework yet, but has been out all afternoon and has literally just come back. Where did you go today? Tell everyone where you went today. Look at this beautiful pink sky. I'm not sure if I'd missed the sunset, if it happened already, but it's just about to happen. But the sky is literally pink. I've got no filter on there at all. It's so pretty. Good morning, everyone. Yes, you can officially call me the world's worst vlogger, blogger, YouTuber, whatever. I didn't manage to film anything last night. It was just manic <laughs> and in the best possible way. I had so much fun. It was so lovely. I've been meaning to have these friends over for the longest time. Can't even tell you for how long. And once they were here, I didn't manage to film anything. And also because I was busy, I had to get out all the food on the table and I didn't even show it to you. There was so much food, so much food, so many different dishes. You know what it's like with Indian food and you end up doing loads. So we had, I'll tell you really quickly. So we had a palau, vegetarian palau. I knew I had two vegetarians there for dinner, but also it turned out that one of my friends does not really eat much meat. She calls herself a flexitarian, which I've never heard before, but she explained it all to me. So anyway, so we had the a palau, peas palau, and then we had a chicken dish, which was kind of semi-dry, semi-not, so it wasn't really a chicken curry. And then a lamb curry with potatoes in it, which is one of my favorite things. It wasn't like, it wasn't fancy, fancy food. It was kind of, oops, still filming on my phone. It was the kind of food that I love to eat. So there was dal as well, which is like a curried lentils, um, a palak paneer, which is basically spinach with paneer in it, which is a kind of cheese. So there was lots of protein, even for the vegetarians, and also a curried egg dish, which I don't know how to describe to you, but that was really lovely too. And then, I can't remember what else now, <laughs> but it was really good fun. And um, we had some of the kids there as well. When I say kids, they're all like, you know, 17, early 20s, not really kids, but you know what I mean. 
So it was really nice and everyone was talking to everyone. It was just really a, like a family affair, really lovely. And uh, we did do quite a bit of clearing up yesterday, as you can see. The, the room isn't a complete and utter tip. I have to empty the dishwasher and do the laundry of the table napkins and things like that. But actually, it wasn't too bad. And my kids really helped clearing up, tidying up everything. So it was really quick. I'm really sorry I didn't manage to film much last night. But um, we've had a really lazy Sunday morning so far. I actually got up earlier than I had planned to, so I was doing some meditation. And now everyone is up, um, but the house is still quiet. I think everyone's tired and I have still some cleaning up to do. Oh, I know what I wanted to t tell you quickly before I go. I tried out some new makeup last night and given what I do, I always get questions about what's on my face, what am I using? You know, my friends will always ask me because they know I'm trying out new stuff all the time. So yesterday I tried out the new Zoeva foundation that I went to the launch of earlier last week. And just because it was there, I also tried out the eyeshadow palette. I think I showed you, I can't remember. But anyway, I just want to show you right now because my skin looked incredible and absolutely flawless, but not like I was wearing makeup. So yeah, let me just show you quickly. It's so weird filming on the phone. I'm in the shade 290W intuitive so yeah if you are my shade if you've ever matched your skin to my shade before that would be your shade it's one of the warm shades but it's not dark and it's not an orange shade and it didn't oxidize at all my skin looked great even before i took my makeup off at bedtime and this is the palette i'm pretty sure i showed this to you yesterday i have a feeling i did but the light was bad and it's called Precious. And I think it's coming out later this year, maybe for Christmas or something. Those are the shades. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And I used three of the shades last night and it created the most beautiful kind of soft glam, soft smoky eye. Loved it, absolutely gorgeous. It stayed on all day as well. It's been ages since I've used Zoeva, so I'm really, really happy to get back into using Zoeva because it's such a gorgeous brand and the whole creation story behind it. If you don't know about it, I'm sure you can just Google it. It's just incredible. Enough rambling. I have got my second coffee of the day and it looks gorgeous, by the way. I don't know if you can see, it is just, oh, it's a shame to drink it because it looks so beautiful. But I think that's it for today's vlog. And I am going to stick to this new regime so it will be Mondays and or Thursdays that I upload. So hopefully you will switch over from my normal Sunday, Wednesday schedule and it will be Mondays and or Thursdays that I post. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and yeah.